Who's making the video? This is a straw saw I bought this weekend, past weekend. I paid like 10 bucks for it. And it's kind of old, I think, but it seems it probably weighs 50 pounds. And I don't really have a particular use for it yet, but it just seemed kind of cool. And for that price, I figured nothing else would make me circuit boards with it, cut little things like that. It's a Detroit Electric, never really heard of them before. Model 1788-S-18. 18 inch scroll saw, 1 8 horse. Looks like it's probably made in 1989. 7th month, I'm guessing. All trade ink. Copyright 1988. So that seems about right from the date. All trade Taiwan. It's this Chinese or Taiwanese. It's not real fancy. I'm not real sure if the there's a little air pump here. It looks pretty. It's got a crack there. I don't know if it works or not. I don't like care that much either though I figured if, even if this thing doesn't work I could probably just take an air hose here probably just splice in to an air fitting and just some, figure out some way to bolt it on the back and do it that way or just put a little blower on it of some sort that's and the mechanism here is, took me a little bit to figure out and then this is down here Warning, there's a motor down here, big flywheel, and then there's a cam that raises and lowers this thing in the blade, kind of like that. This particular model takes a 5 inch blade. I just got a 4 pack of Ryobi ones for like 3 bucks or something. Pressure foot, there's an adjustment here for the pressure foot in the guard. There's a power switch over here that's a little iffy. It doesn't always turn on properly unless you hold it just right. There's the motor. And to change the blade, I just, I couldn't really find a manual for it, so I just had to kind of look at the mechanism. For the blade to change, you open these little red covers up. And it just takes like the down pin pin end blade is what that's called. And just flip that down. It doesn't really stay down that well though. I might just take them off. But to put the blade in, you take this knob and you turn it outwards, so like this. And then that loosens up these things. This allows this one to tip down. And then you can put the blade in, then you tighten this up. That puts tension on the blade, then you turn this lock nut, and then that locks this in. And that's how you change the blade on this particular unit. And all this, I don't know much else about it. Or hmm. Look, it's pretty heavy and it seems to be well made, so even if it's Chinese or whatever. And I've I don't remember ever seeing a scroll saw with this feature on it. This one has a knob you can turn, and then the table will adjust just like a table saw in a way. I don't remember ever seeing a scroll saw that had that feature, but I've only seen a few of them. And I figured 10 bucks is, was worth taking a chance on it. There's a few other things in this. That's the air nozzle. That's the adjustment knob for the guard and the foot pressure foot. I'm not quite sure what this thing is. I just noticed that and that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm not sure. doesn't seem to what it, I don't see what its application there would be. I mean it's just a washer. I don't really know. I think that's about all I got in this.